that was also something that I love that you touched on the fact that they did have love in their lives. You know, they both had yeah. long term partners. Um, unfortunately, I mean, you know, the Truman Capote, his lover, that just kind of like if it, it it made it seem like that just kind of like drifted away. Um, and of course, it, Tennessee it Williams' um, lover passed away. Yes, but they had they had emotion. I mean, the thing is, is that Jack Dunsey Truman's partner for so many years was really part of his life to mm-hmm. the very end. And, um, and in fact, he inherited almost everything from, from Truman, but they just, the, the physical part of their, of their relationship died out. But, you know, Jack was also there trying to make sure that Truman would take care of himself and would go into rehab, but it just, you know, never happened. Never stopped. And yeah. no, and Tennessee Williams was actually quite very much of a sex addict, unfortunately. And so, you know, Frank Merlot was the big love of his life. And, uh, but he just, he was very much of a sex addict along with alcohol. Hmm. And he died actually of barbiturates at the age of 71. Truman Capoli dies 18 months later at the very young age of 59, looking like he was at least fucking 71 um, of alcoholism. I know. And, you know, actually, you know, the, the thing about Tennessee Williams' death, you know, it says that he died of barbiturates, but he really died because he choked on the, top of the container of pills and it's an it's an odd story i mean yes was it alcohol alcoholism and indulgence that led him to his death yes without a doubt and i mean and this is a sad story of when you have two people who were children of alcoholics that their life has followed that pattern okay Mm -hmm. and along with the pressures of their very public life and public achievements which they have you know, not succeeded in of in the latter years of their life, this is what has happened to them. And um, you, and it's, that, it's always it's always a very sad thing because you know you it's so beautiful to watch the creative process of people, but at the same time, you have this other side of it that you know can they keep it up? What do they have yeah. to sacrifice to make it mm. um, be you know so much a part of their lives? 